Hello, Robin Moore here with the very first Reminder where I get to share stories that create never-ending conversations. Conversations that live within you and conversations you might want to pass on to other people. The notion of a never-ending conversation was given to me by a very special friend called Peter. And uh, I shared about it at his funeral and said that every time he called me, I would say, hello, Robin speaking. And he would say, furthermore, and then he'd say, or another thing, or then again, and, and we'd always laugh. At the funeral, everybody burst into laughter because I realised that he'd done that with everybody. We were all part of his never ending conversation. And it made me reflect on all the lovely never ending conversations that I live into in my life. Conversations for my mum and dad who passed on their values to me and I live them every day. A conversation I had with my grade six teacher, Mr. Airy, who stood me in front of the blackboard and he made me promise I would be a teacher. And I've been an educator for 45 years. Uh, my beautiful teacher, my lecturer at Teachers College, Hugo McCann, one day said to me, you'll know you're a good educator, leader or parent if you can say you didn't stop them. And now my whole life is dedicated to opening up pathways for people, taking away the barriers so they can create a life they love. I was with Yoram Gross in 1992, the father of animation, and he created a never-ending conversation when he asked me to create a voice for the cartoon character Blinky Bill. And uh, before Yoram died, I made a little book for him with all the stories about Blinky's phone calls to children. I told him about the make-a-wish calls I make to children with life-threatening medical conditions, where children's health improves after Blinky has spoken to them. I told him about ringing uh, suicidal teenagers, where Blinky's voice and his messages stopped children wanting to take their life. And just the other day, I was getting a new passport and some of the young staff recognised me and said, oh, please do the voice of Blinky Bill, you were our childhood. And I said, G'day, it's Blinky Bill here, and I think you are extraordinary. <laughs> and all the wonderment and the joy and the laughter that happened made me think, wow, Joram, you have started something amazing here. Look at that reaction. You live within me, and I get to pay it forward to other people. So it's lovely to sometimes just take a, a moment or two to reflect on all of those wonderful, never-ending conversations you've been given, and by whom. And if you can, to thank those people and to live on into those conversations and pay them forward to others. And then, of course, there are those disempowering conversations that I call life sentences, like, you'll never amount to anything. Who do you think you are? You'll never be as good as your sister. I'll give up, why don't you? And those conversations can kill us. So it's really great to discern which ones we're going to live into and don't let the disempowering ones stop us and let the empowering ones pull us into a mighty future. So uh, I hope you've enjoyed the first Reminder Vater. I'll have many more to come soon. So I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.